Hi, Emily. Morning, Debbie. I hear you're uh, in the second year of a new initiative, a uh, society called the Nepachuma Memorial Society, uh, in memory of your mother. So could you tell us a bit about what your hope was in founding this organization? The Nepachuma Memorial Society is a dedication to Kumbata, my grandmother, and Nepachuma, my mother, uh, for the service provided in their communities, mentoring young women and girls in political spheres as well as religious spheres. Um, it is hoped by our family that their legacy should continue because they did a lot for women and girls. And that is what we hope to do in Zambia, um, in a sanctuary where women, young women and girls can feel uh, safe and share their experiences and hope that their intergenerational dialogues can continue the legacy of mentoring at the future generations. You mentioned intergenerational, so in the coming year, what do you hope will happen? In the coming year, we hope to have outreach activities to schools, as well as bringing girls together in the sanctuary, and so that they can share their experiences in a safe space. As you will know, girls are not safe in the world anymore. Girls in Nigeria have been abducted. This underscores the urgency of making sure that the girls are safe and they can come to a sanctuary where they can share their dreams knowing that they are safe and people care for them. And there will be uh, women of all ages to meet with them? There will be women of all ages to meet with them, but what is most important is that the girls will share among themselves and sing their own song, write their own stories that others can learn from that the support that the older women will provide is to support these girls attain their dreams and become whatever they would want to be. How does that sound, Sunira? I think that sounds a place I want to be and I want to go. Okay, thank you both. Thank you very much, Debbie.